that's too bad. Put up the ball. He's going to get the batter. Well, Takahiko Mura's dream season continues with his trip to the World Championships. And he won the coveted third spot for Japan to London, uh, finishing ahead of skaters like Takahiko Kazuka and Nobunari Oda. And Mura reached a career milestone this season, winning his very first Grand Prix event. That was the Grand Prix of France. And the success of his season uh, he has ridden on the shoulders of his consistent quad toe. He has a super pop to his takeoff. It takes him so straight up into the air to really unusual. He puts his quad in a corner that no one else does. Oh, oh. The, he's tried that eight times this year in competition and landed cleanly seven times. Doesn't even get the pick in. Could be bad timing on the takeoff. He could have picked in someone else's hole on the ice. You just can't tell from here. But now he needs the triple axle. And you could see the height. Mm -hmm. Natural jumping ability. triple combination showing the air on the quad of food. He's coached by his dad. Takashi competed at the world level in both singles and pairs in the 80s. Say when it was young, it was tough being coached by his dad, being with him all the time. Just thinking that. <laughs> Not so much now, though. Today with the quad for Takahiko Mura. From Japan, Takahiko Mura. As you can see, so many Japanese fans in uh, the crowd here in London. Great support for them. He's actually understated for a Japanese skater as far as the artistic aspect goes. That triple axle may be one of the most dynamic axles in the whole competition. So much power timed perfectly up onto the toe pick. But what happened on that quad? He's shaking bets. his head and, uh, and thinking back, and uh, we will get a chance to have another look at the quad, but so so consistent. And, and for me, Kurt, it all comes down to if you have patience on the takeoff or if you're just a little too eager to get to it. And to me, when the pick does not plant properly, you're just too eager. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but it almost looked like the angle of his foot. Like he just missed the toe pick. He just was pointing his toe almost too much. And there, the gorgeous triple axle natural spring. And I love it.
love it when it jumps like a controlled explosion. <laughs> it just, uh, it's so exciting to watch well, that airtime. When I watch his triple axle, I, I wish I could teleport into it and feel what it like to be that high in the air. But as great as the axle was, the quad wasn't there. The short program score. 73.46. So that score obviously less than a season best. It will leave him, at least for the moment, in sixth place overall, but the leader here in London with six skaters left to come is Canadian Kevin Reynolds. And sometimes events seem to take on a personality until one skater can come along and totally change that momentum. This has been a choppy men's event so far.